Oh, uh, I watched this movie the other day, and this film is called Begotten. Um, it's directed by, I'm probably gonna butcher his name, so I'm sorry about that, but it's, uh, by a director who goes by the name of E. Elias Smirhidge, or something along those lines. I don't know. And if you guys are familiar with this wonderful film, um, you may be aware that it is out of print. I found this at a horror convention, some guy had it, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. You know, I've been wanting to see this movie for years, you know, this is... I've heard of this movie for like a very, very long time and I have for the longest time wanted to see this film. Something about it just intrigued me. Like it, it just seemed like the creepiest little film and I've always wanted to check it out. So, you know, I definitely, I picked it up and I bought it and uh, I actually just watched it the other day and uh, yeah, here are my thoughts. E. Elias Merhidge is a very strange filmmaker because uh, he made this film back in 1990, I want to say, which was almost, you know, or not almost, it was over 25 years ago and um, this is the first film he's ever done, and then he made a movie in 2000 called Shadow of the Vampire, which is, you know, a movie about um, Nosferatu, you know, the film, the making of that film, except it's not really about... Anyways, he made a film called Shadow of the Vampire, and he also made a film back in 2004 called Subject Zero, which I have yet to see both of those movies, but I actually really want to watch them after seeing this one, because I think this guy has a lot of potential, and why he's only made three movies in that, you know, very long time period, I have no idea, but these are the only three movies he's ever done, and he's been, you know, an active director for 25 years, so I don't, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he makes damn good movies, I guess. Begotten is a very, very strange movie, perhaps one of the strangest films I have ever seen, and I have seen some strange movies before in my life. Begotten is a silent black and white experimental horror film that was made back in 1990, and um, the film is very, very short. It only has a runtime of about 72 minutes. So yeah, it's a little bit shorter than your average film. And what's strange about this movie is that there's really no cohesive narrative or plot in this movie. There's no straightforward narrative plot in this movie. There's no dialogue, you know, there's no, I mean, there's characters, but you know, you don't know who they are essentially. Like, it's just a very, very weird and confusing film. And uh, you honestly would not have a single idea of what was going on if you didn't look it up on the internet, which is exactly what I did, you know, when I was watching this movie. And from what I read and from what I understand, and I'm going to try my best to explain to you what this movie's about here, um, the film, I guess, is a retelling of the, uh, the Book of Genesis. The film opens up with this character, just this weird freaking thing, um, and apparently the character is God, um, and God is, you know, killing himself. He's stabbing himself, you know, in the stomach, and he's ripping out all of his organs and intestines, and it's just... He's killing himself, and then he eventually dies, obviously. And then another character known as Mother Earth comes out of his dead body, like literally just kind of comes out of his dead body, and becomes pregnant after doing these very weird and strange acts to this, you know, corpse, this 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 body. It's, it's kind of like a necromantic sort of deal here. So now she's pregnant, just kind of all of a sudden, and she walks out into this field, like this, this empty wasteland, and she gives birth to the son of Earth, you know, or also known as Flesh and Bones. And all this character does throughout pretty much the entire movie is just kind of lays on the ground and quivers a little bit, you know, he just kind of sits there like an asshole. But there's like these, these hooded men, you know, these, these hooded figures who are out in this wasteland and, uh, long story short, they just do these very weird things to these, the, you know, the Mother Earth and the Son of Earth and they eventually, you know, kill them and dismember their bodies and, you know, burn them and... <laughs> that is Begotten, ladies and gentlemen. In a nutshell, that is what Begotten is. That's what the movie's about, you know. Long story short, it is a retell retelling of the book of Genesis. And that's pretty much, you know, the whole point of the movie is just a retelling of that story, but just in a very dark and twisted way, in a sense. I, I don't really know how else to describe this movie to you. You know, it's very extremely experimental, you know, it seems like it was on a budget of like five dollars, but um, I think the budget was actually around 33000 so that's, you know, a pretty good budget for a movie like this. And the movie was pretty much exactly what I expected it to be, you know, it was just, uh, you know, a 72 minute long, you know, black and white silent film that is just filled with just this nightmarish imagery, you know, just all these scenes that are just like a nightmare feel, like they are super, super scary. The first, I'd say 15 minutes of this film, I absolutely loved. I was genuinely creeped out watching the first 15 minutes of this film, watching, you know, the godlike figure, you know, kill himself and then having like, you know, the Mother Earth, you know, arise from his body. Like that whole scene, that whole sequence was just, I loved it, you know, I was 
actually very creeped out and I loved it. Unfortunately, the rest of the film from there on just kind of falls flat for me, you know? It's not bad necessarily, but compared to that sequence at the beginning, the rest of the movie is a bit tame. I don't want to say tame, that's not the right word, because there is definitely like, you know, a lot of other very shocking imagery and scenes in this film, you know? Just this very, very messed up stuff going on, but... Um, I don't know, I just, you know, kind of lost a little bit of interest, you know, going halfway through this film. So yeah, I found the rest of the movie to be a bit, you know, dragged out and a bit long and a bit slow and almost kind of a bit boring in a sense. But, um, I still enjoyed watching it, you know, I still really, really liked it. And I pretty much liked this movie as much as I thought I would. And despite, you know, the rest of the movie being a little bit, you know, slow and a little bit boring, you know, I actually really, really enjoyed this film. I I could almost say that I loved it. I was creeped out and confused all at the same time while watching this movie. I was just kind of like, I have no idea what is going on in this movie, but I love it. There are genuinely disturbing parts in here. Like, the whole sequence at the beginning was very, very disturbing. Um... But would I consider this, you know, the most disturbing film out there? Probably not. I have seen, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I've seen some other movies that are far more disturbing than this one, but that does not mean that this movie is not disturbing. It absolutely is, but it's just, you know, not among the most disturbing that I've ever seen. It's definitely one of the strangest films I've seen, though. I could give it that. It's definitely kind of strange, and if I were to watch this movie, you know, without having to look anything up on the internet, I would have absolutely no idea what was going on, you know. I just, I would not know a single thing going on in this film, so thank God for the internet for that. The thing I love most about this movie is probably the style. The style I absolutely love, you know, I love the whole black and white aspect of it. That just made it, like, a, a whole lot more creepier, like, just... I loved everything, you know, style-wise about this film. I thought it was great. However, although I did really, really enjoy this film, would I recommend it to you guys, you know, to the general audience, to my mom and dad, to my grandmother, to my, you know, little sister, would I recommend this movie to them? No, absolutely not. Do not watch this movie. You will hate this film. The general audience, you know, just your average moviegoer, they are, they would hate this film, you know? If you like your movies with, you know, a straightforward narrative plot, then stay away from this movie because this movie does not have that at all. There is little to no plot in this film at all. And, you know, like I said, I actually had to do some research on what this whole thing was about. Otherwise, I would have no idea what is going on in this film. Stay away from this movie. I would absolutely not recommend it to you. For those of you, though, who are, I guess you, I guess I could say film enthusiasts who actually, you know, appreciate the whole experimental genre and whatnot, then yes, I would definitely say give this movie a watch, you know, there, I think the biggest compliment I can give this film is that there is absolutely nothing out there like this movie, like, there is nothing out there like it, I have not seen anything like this movie before, and that is the biggest compliment I could give it, because honestly, the best kind of movies are the ones who are far more different than, you know, any other movie out there. And I gotta give it props for that because, you know, that's definitely, like, you know, what I would consider the best movies. It is anything unlike I and you will probably have ever seen. So, yeah, if you are looking for something that is different, that is, you know, a lot more experimental for your taste, you know, then, yeah, I would highly suggest watching this film. I was creeped out. I was disturbed. I was confused this movie did it all and it was all in one sitting in the runtime of 72 minutes and uh overall i'm probably going to give begotten a solid four out of five i really really enjoyed this film i like i said i can almost say i loved it um i loved the beginning sequence of this film i thought it started off with a bang but you know the rest of the movie ki yeah it kind of did drag on a little bit there's a lot of shots in this movie i forgot to um tell you guys this but there's a lot of shots in this film where there's kind of there's nothing going on and you're watching it like, I I don't know what's going on, what, what's being filmed right now, I, I can't see shit. There's a lot of moments like that in this film, um, but yeah, um, I completely also forgot to just talk to you guys about the, uh, the score in this film, you know, the music, the soundtrack, I thought it was great, it definitely fitted with the film, you know, and the tone and all that, it just made the movie a lot more eerie and creepy, just, the score to this film was wonderful as well, but yeah, just, um, 
Yeah, I, I, ugh, this movie's freaking weird. This movie also includes some of the most nightmarish imagery I've ever seen in a film, ever. So that is another huge compliment I could give this movie. But yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a very, very fun watch, a very interesting watch. I wouldn't actually say fun. It's not the most fun experience you'll ever have watching a movie, but... It's definitely a very interesting one, and like I said, if you're looking for something a little bit more different, a little bit more experimental, I would definitely say give this movie a watch. It is well worth your time. That is it. That is all I have to say for Begotten. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jacob Palacio, and I will see you guys later. Where did my remote go? Um, oh, shit. Huh. <laughs>